At Andhra Pradesh Global Investor Summit, I have with me Dr. Reddy, Dr. Satish Reddy. Uh, Mr. Satish, uh, you spoke about having a presence in Andhra Pradesh for a very long time. What are your plans here for Andhra Pradesh and uh, beyond? We will continue to expand in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, we've been here for the last 35 years. Uh, we started our first API manufacturing plant in the year 1988. Uh, since that time, we have continuously expanded. Uh, in the Srikakulam district, uh, we have now have uh, two manufacturing units of API. But more importantly, we also expanded into uh, the SCZ area in Dwada, where we have uh, two formulations uh, units. And then we also started our injectable units. Uh, so that's that's something which has come up. Total of five were finished dosage units. The largest injectable facility for Dr. Reddy's is the one we have invested heavily. Uh, in fact, almost about 500 crores plus have been spent uh, you know, on this unit because it's a state-of-the-art unit. It's uh, again located in uh, IDB Varam. It will be uh, producing products which is mainly aimed for the U.S. market. Uh, so and, we'll, and the future expansions also in various areas, whether it's APIs, whether it uh, comes uh, with uh, finished dosage units. And one of the things if we are also expecting at some point of time is also the focus on the innovation, which means more research facilities uh, in research parks. That's something all of us will uh, look forward to and will continue to invest. You made a reference to life sciences as well. Is that something big now on your radar? Absolutely big on our radar because uh, in terms of opportunities across the life sciences uh, spectrum, uh, if you see all the way from APIs, all the way up to drug discovery, India has a unique opportunity in the pharmaceutical value chain to grow from just the volumes part of it, because we, we are a pharmacy to the world, uh, as you are well aware. We have proved those capabilities, especially in the COVID times, not just for India, but for the world. But when it comes to value, value creation, because just to give a number, we are looking at uh, being the third largest in volume, but we are 14th when it comes to value. The significant value creation will come in when we move more and more towards innovative products and also towards drug discovery. And that's where I think a big opportunity exists for India, uh, especially because of the talent, because of the proven capabilities and the opportunities offered by states such as Andhra Pradesh. So that's that's where the opportunity is and we should make the most of it. Okay, whether it is, uh, you know, Telangana, Andhra or India, the world has recognized the pharma power that we are. And post-COVID, all the more so that, you know, it became also the biotech in a sense capital. But in recent times, you have been seeing about products from India getting a bad name for whatever reasons. What can India do to curb that? Do you see this as some kind of a conspiracy as well to kind of malign a country? No, I do, I don't, I do not think it's a uh, conspiracy. I think it's an issue of certain things that need to fall into place. For example, uh, you know, the regulatory uh, uh, age, you know, mechanism is undergoing quite a bit of change. I mean, just to give an example, the Drugs and Cosmetics Act, for example, which needs to be revamped, this is from the 1960s, right? So one is amendments to that. Other thing is more than important, I think, is the enforcement. I think that's that's something which needs to be done because if you see the number of units, uh, you know, so again, if you see the listed companies, people who export to, uh, you know, the developed parts of the world, they're inspected continuously by the regulatory agencies. So they, they have a certain advantage in terms of upgrading the quality systems to be the best in the world. And that's something which has happened over decades. It's not something that just happened recently. Again, if you see the Indian regulatory system, it's, it's strong. But in terms of its enforcement, in terms of its being ahead of the industry, I think that needs a little bit of work, which again, I think the industry is, uh, I mean, the com union government is very conscious of that. And we hope to see changes in that. You spoke about value being low, even though we are big in terms of numbers. Uh, you know, the advantage, uh, I'm relating it is slightly something unrelated, but I'm saying the price advantage that India gives to the world, that's something, is, do you see a challenge to that right now with the kind of, you know, when innovation comes in, obviously uh, prices also come. Not at all. Again, when it comes to being the pharmacy to the world, it's basically because of our APIs, because of our finished dosage, the generics. So these are areas where we're extremely competitive compared to anybody in the world. That's why we're still there. So I think that this will continue. I think even in the future, this, this part of it will continue. What I was referring to was in the value chain, Right? Only if you bring in intel uh, what you call innovative products with some level of uh, intellectual property protection, only then we can go to the next stage. So these are high-value products. These are something which is more difficult. So not everybody can't uh, do it that easily. But then I'm saying that we have capabilities in this area. So if you're able to migrate towards that and invest more and more into that and be successful in that, that will really lead us so to be. the skilled manpower that gives us that big advantage? Uh, and where do you see India going from here and your own company as well? Most important thing, because most of the times, especially when the union budget comes up, you will see one of the things asking uh, asks from the industry is always about research grants, is always about tax incentives. It's to give 
the flip to the innovative system. So this is something we always keep asking for because this is a highly risky area, right? So in terms of the failure, it is extremely high. So industry can't do it alone. We are actually saying that build the ecosystem, right? On the one is on the funding side. Other thing is on in terms of collaboration, industry, academic uh, collaboration, which we are asking government to pitch in. We are also saying that, you know, in terms of the infrastructure itself, the research parks and all that that needs to come in, so that especially it will encourage startups to uh, get into this space. These are areas also regulatory part of it. We are saying even regulatory also should be, you know, conducive to innovation. That's something we are asking for from the government to help us out. Thank you so much. Thank Pleasure you. talking to you. So, uh, Satish Reddy, in fact, uh, enumerating what could be uh, the road ahead for the pharma industry, even as he speaks about uh, bigger expansion in the state of Andhra Pradesh in Vizag with camera person Nagraju Umasudhir, NDTV.